I'm going to be interested uh, how quickly this game flops. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I think I think I mean, it, does look it, cool. it does look fun and cool. I just don't know well, this if is, there's space this is, for this type of so game. This is what's going to be interesting. I'm excited for this game, and I will probably regardless play it because I just I, I like to give it a, you know, dabble in a little bit. But if the rumors are true about Hyperscape coming out during the conference or at the conference, which would be this weekend, yeah. I am yeah. playing that. I mean, I will say that game does look cool that game yeah. is fun to watch and if if hyperscape does it correctly in the fact that they do cross save and cross progression i could play on the pc can i, can I make an ap- i'm gonna pull can up I make an ar- can i make an argument escape. here and you guys hyperscape, and you guys are the shooter uh gods hero shooter oh, sorry hero, yeah, yeah. Shoot, sorry. hero yeah. shooter. bow down to me yeah, yeah. Sorry, you sorry, guys yeah, are, are really informed on the hero shooters primarily because you play overwatch and you're you play it really big i would argue that actually what makes overwatch overwatch is that they've they've they're so good at creating lore around their characters so I care about those characters or I want to know more about those characters and that's what makes their hero shooter good and these other hero shooters aren't doing that bleeding edge didn't do it these guys didn't do it so there's no attachment to the characters uh-huh. there's no lore behind the characters when you're a hero shooter the name of the game is the hero how what what is the story behind this hero the hype that comes when overwatch drops a trailer i would argue that what makes it a hero shooter a hero is the knowledge of even apex is doing it in their battle royale yeah, they do it well too yeah they're bringing lore through because if you're not attached to these heroes what do i care that I'm flying around rockets trying to kill these other heroes, right? How does it? How does it? And it's not that it it changes the gameplay in any way. It's just that little extra depth yeah. that yeah. sinks you into their game. That I don't think Bleeding well, Edge think, had. This maybe has it. Uh, the the rocket shooter. Yeah. Well, and I think. Um, I mean, Overwatch. I mean, you didn't know everything about the heroes right off the bat. You you know you knew the basic story is Overwatch was a team of good people against a team of bad people, right? Yeah. And even later, we started to find out, oh, this guy was actually on the bad team, or this guy was on, you know what I mean? So it, it did take them time to but they, build that lore. But they they did a good job beforehand at building what what it was the the background and like mm-hmm. they came out with everyone needs heroes. Remember that that yeah. Oh, yeah. cinematic where they had uh Doomfist glove. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that came out before the game was even released, right? So you yeah. you already were learning about these characters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I agree I actually agree with David a lot. Um ultimately it's gonna be gameplay, but at the same time what what's the icing on the cake that gets a lot of uh it's that hype. next level depth it yeah. makes you feel good about playing the characters you like you know what i mean but and and i would say bleeding edge you didn't ha- you didn't have that with any didn't of have that characters. at all well they had the cool factor like there was this definite they had cool an info factor screen about the heroes yeah but there's no <laughs> i need more depth. Well, i mean like it, it gave their backstory like and, about the chicken lady and yeah stuff, but know. what apex is doing is is following that overwatch model and they are slowly dripping and leaking out well, constant lore like this whole season of apex has been loba focused yeah. on lore about loba and revenant and their well, battle and together plus loba well, does I think, it, damn does it to yeah. me yeah well i well, think yeah, apex that's no. something that they have too well, sex th- appeal oh, i think apex and and overwatch do it in a more entertaining way with cutscenes, videos, sure. stuff like that. Whereas if you go into Bleeding Edge, the lore you get behind the characters is when you go to their bio screen and you read the yeah, paragraph lame. about. You know what I mean? I, I just I think they do it. Like, that's, that's, there's obviously lore there. We've all had grimoire cards. Yeah, we no, don't that, like that's, those. That's what I'm saying. Like I think they do it in a more entertaining way, right? Yeah. Some uh, people don't read books. Some people watch the movies. Yeah, you know that's that's, that's yeah. So, 